Okay guys, uh, in this video I'm going to go over Hyperspin versus Launchbox on uh, how to add a video game. And uh, I chose Hamster Ball because it's goofy and the price was right and it came out a long time ago. But this is one of those, again, simple fun games if you like Marble Madness. It's just a modern take on that. You send the hamster down the ramp, you try to get there as fast as you can and that's about it. So anyway, you guys get the point. That's the gameplay. Let's start with uh, Hyperspin. So adding a game to the main wheel in Hyperspin. I'm going to stick to the main wheel because, uh, again, I don't like Rocket Launcher. And doing so, if you wanted to do a sub wheel, you'd have to use Rocket Launcher. So first thing you do, grab the path. I installed it in my Windows Games folder. So uh, just make, make note of the path. And then head on over to Hyper HQ, the green icon in the Hyperspin setup. And, of course, uh, just par for the course doesn't even launch so I think I try one more time here and then I had to head over to task manager and kill it and start all over again so um, launched up my hyperspin setup just to make sure that was still working wasn't anything else going on I think I'm gonna add the game right above my main uh, main wheel just to make it easy so I can find it so edit out of here or exit out of here in a second and then I'll go back and launch up Hyper HQ to edit this wheel. So again, not launching. This is typical. I don't know if you guys have seen this before where if you've launched Hyper HQ in the last hot minute and then close it, it just hangs out there forever. Go on to Task Manager, kill it, uh, and finally died. There we go. And go back and now we're up and running. Anyway, so you want to go to the main menu wizard. You want to hit the add new item to main wheel. You want to name it something that makes sense. So hamster ball. Um, keep in mind that whatever you name it here, you're going to have to name all your art assets, your images, your wheels, your themes to that same name. Uh, this does not have a sub wheel, so we're going to just do executable program. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to add it at the very top of my list. Yes, I'm sure. And we're pretty much done there. So now we go to our wheel settings and then we do a executable path. You know, make sure to confirm the location. And you should still have in your clipboard, if you were following along with me, the uh, path location. I was obviously doing my homework, so the path was still in there. So I just paste that double check it. You don't need any quotes in the executable line. It'll automatically do that if you see the command line preview down there below. It puts the quotes in there for you, so don't try to get creative with that. And then now we're, we're done with HyperHQ, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, we can go ahead and close both of these and launch up Hyperspin and check and see if that will launch. Uh, sometimes these old games need compatibility settings, they need to run as admin, stuff like that. Make sure your game, whatever it is, is running well and exiting well before you add it to the main wheel like this because without rocket launcher you can't do auto hockey scripts you can't do re key remaps things like that it's more difficult i should say you can't do it but it's not as easy so i go back up to my top of my list and there it is hamster ball uh, nice and ugly no artwork no video preview no wheel art no nothing so let's see if it launches Oh, command line window there and resolution change this is an old game so it's in 4x3 that's why it's squished over to the side like that but looks like we're good to go this is a trackball game so we're using the mouse in here so that's why you see the cursor floating around um, so we'll exit out of here and let's go see if we can add some art to the main wheel and we got to do that manually so uh, I think I went ahead and I have in my downloads folder some artwork um, and a clear uh, PNG file is the best. So I think I found a PNG file, a random one on the web. So copy that, head on over to your Hyperspin installation directory. Um, oops, not system ROMs, back out of here. You want to find your media folder, not, your, not in Rocket Launcher, the media folder outside of Rocket Launcher, main menu, images, and then wheel. So that's just the image you see on the main wheel. That's not the video preview. That's not the theme. 
Uh, it's not anything else. So this will just get you some pretty artwork in the list. It won't change anything else. Um, and then the last step is to make sure it's exactly what you labeled it in HyperHQ. Not the game name, not the executable name, it's whatever you made that entry into HyperHQ. You gotta make sure those match. I'm gonna go back in, and bam! We got a clear logo. Doesn't really match my theme with the uh, bordered rectangles, but you get the point. So we exit out of here. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do the other art assets. It's the same process. You go find a theme, you name it the same thing, you, you stick it in themes. You go find a video, name it the same thing, stick it in videos. It's not rocket science. Um, but since I don't use Hyperspin, I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm, I'm not uh, keeping that installation up to date. So here comes LaunchBox. So LaunchBox is basically the UI front end to big box big box is the 10 foot view arcade you know interface that you can use in your control panel launch box is the back end that you can use with your mouse and keyboard to install games so here it comes here's how you install a launch box there that fast you just drag it over it kicks off the import wizard and it asks you what type it is what platform it is what artwork it's going to scrape as uh do you want to move the files i say no i use in my current location do you want metadata? Yes, you want metadata because it'll tell you like when the game came out, who made it, that kind of stuff. This is LaunchBox built-in artwork it's going to search for. I have an Emu Movies account, so I'm going to uh, search for that. So it'll, it'll pull from both locations and you can specify which ones you want. These options are more for main games uh, and other things. You can download the manuals and the PDF versions of that and get different metadata and things like that. So it parsed it. It goes off the link, the shortcut that you pull into LaunchBox, so I'll change that if you need to, but Hamster Ball came up, so we're good to go. It's searching the database. You can see it's searching your movies. It's saving. And done. That's it. So now we go find it in the list. And the really cool thing about Launch LaunchBox is, look at that, it's got the artwork. It's got a video. It's got the metadata, it knows who made it, it knows when it came out. It's got some tags like it supports multiplayer. It's just a really clean, simple, easy way to get all the way there. And all we did was drag the icon into this thing. So any modern game, you just drag it over. And if it's anywhere near popular, someone's already added the artwork to LaunchBox database. So let's fire up Big Box and now you can see what that looks like inside that interface. So I should have mentioned it before, we dragged that into the Steam wheel, like I said I, in my prior video. Not all games I throw in my Steam wheel are from Steam, they're just kind of like, it's my catch-all for all my PC games that aren't emulated arcade games. Um, so I'm just going to hop down to that wheel and jump into Steam. Um, and the one quick thing that I'll, that I'll show, but I'll touch on in another video probably, is... Look at the bottom. You can search by letters. You know, Hyperspin does this too if you go left or right on the joystick, but this at least gives you the full alphabet. And in the beginning there, you've got your favorites and a search. And that search is for the entire library. That goes for our everything. So it works really, really well. And it's one of the biggest features I love about uh, Big Box and Launch Box. So we'll launch up our hamster ball. And same as before. Now, this is squished on the recording. It, it actually changes the resolution on my arcade, so it's full screen and it looks fine, but just for the purposes of showing this off. And that's it. So you're up and running. You've got a video. You've kind of looks like a theme. You can edit that. You can add a theme if you want to. Um, and that's really the strength of, of LaunchBox is you can really get in and add these games very, very quickly and get the artwork all sorted, the metadata and everything figured out. Um, that's it for this video. If you guys got any questions, put in the comments below. I think I'll link this game. I found this game online um, in the description. And that's it.